The boys are back on Caribbean soil. The West Indies under-19 world champions touched down at the Grant the Adams International Airport today, fresh from whipping India and the rest of the world in Bangladesh. These youngsters have every reason to hold their heads high and plaster broad smiles across their faces after lifting the ICC and the 19 Cricket World Cup for the very first time. And according to Captain Shemron Hetmeyer, the spin bowling they had to face was their biggest challenge. Getting the players much, a lot of spin in the Bangladesh game and in the nets also. I think the guys, they, they regrouped well after, after the, three, the three losses against Bangladesh and even after the first game. And to come out on, on top and win the tournament, I think it was a very great achievement for us. True for we were very confident that we would have beaten them. And I think bowling for us, winning a toss and bowling for us on that pitch, I think that was already that already helped us a lot because most of the bowlers they were like, "Come it, come it, you win, a, win, win your first toss." And I was like, "Okay, let's just see how it goes." And I guess I, I won it, I won the toss, and we only elected to bowl for us on that on that pitch. I think that was a very big, very big thing for us, helping helping us going through that game. And the pitch was was a bit bouncy, and it was green also. So I think that really helped us going through the final. Barbados Sports Minister Stephen Lashley believes that despite the state of the regional senior team's recent performances, these young men can revive what West Tennis cricket is all about. I believe that the performance of our on the 19 team, along the entirety of this championship has done something to uplift West Indies cricket, especially at a time when, of course, across our region, there is a bit of an expectation that West Indies cricket can rise from the proverbial ashes and once again take its place where we know West Indies cricket ought to be at the very top. And I believe that your performance has helped to rekindle that hope among West Indies people. So, what's next for the members of the champion squad? After here, we were hoping that most, of, most if not all of the guys get into their regional teams, the regional senior teams, and if not even in the contract, the C PCL contracts. And, and from here right now, I think I think six of us will be selected to go into each and each CPL franchise. So I think for now, let's just wait and see how it goes for us. To Knapsack, and it was a great day for Bailey's and St. Stephen's at the Patsy Calendar Zone at the Usain Bolt Sports Complex today. Bailey's ran away with the girls' honours, amassing 178.5 points, just a mere point ahead of West Terrace. Charles F. Broom, they were third, and Wilkie Kamabach in fourth. In the boys' category, it was St. Stephen's in front with 186, followed by Bailey's, Wilkie Kamabach, and Charles F. Broom. CBC's Shane Jones was there for the 50 meters. Get ready to turn up the cuteness. Under seven girls, 50 meters. Jaquil Daniel in lane three in the green of Christchurch girls. Wins it from George Lamins, Jada Aline, Jazaria Coggins of West Terrace. Well, she was third. Another heat coming at you really fast, starting lane four. But check out Sharifa Nichols in red. Smokes them. Charles F. Broom with a win. Luther Thorns, Kalia Chandler was second. And Gabriella Eiffel of St. Stephen's third. Section three, away they go. Oh, man. Check out Christina Douglas flying the Christchurch girls flag. She won in 9.84 seconds. Ahead of George Lamins, Robika Cumberbatch, and Kristen Greenwich of Luther Thorne. Under seven boys now, their turn at 50 meters. Christchurch running things. The Quan Edgel of Milton Lynch. Easy does it. Isaiah Florence of St. Stephen's in second spot. And Zeniko Basilius of St. Christopher third. Section two, stop looking cross, boy. Run straight. Kadari Clark of George Lamins slams them. Wilkie's Kyrie Hurdle caught second spot. Well, Jazari Hines of Eden Lodge was third. Okay, keep your eyes on the blue streak from Eden Lodge. That's Tyreek Collimore, careens them all in 9.22 seconds. You better watch him. Luther Thorns, Micaiah Brathwit second, and Aaron Waterman of West Terrace was third. Time to cool down from the Usain Bolt Complex. Shane Jones, CBC Sports.
Staying on the track, Blue House successfully defended their title at the Great and Sealy Interhouse Sports at the National Stadium today, beating their closest rival Green by some distance. Blue, they finished first with 815.7 points ahead of Green, Yellow, White, Orange and Red in that order. A busy Shane Jones caught up with them for the 100 meters. Under 17 girls coming at you, full field of eight in this one. Could be anyone's race early out, but check out the middle of the track. That's Kayla Walters of Yellow House. She strides past them all, arms pumping and head high. Denisha Ramsey of Blue second, just ahead of Red's Dominique Lynch. Don't you just hate it when people are in your shot? Move from there, boy. Under 17 boys now away cleanly. Green with a big presence in this one, but it was all about Damon Johnson of Red House on the inside. Green second and third through Jadan Jones and Rashad Jackman. Under 20 girls away, all over pretty early. Yeah, you can add that one to your snap story. Alyssa Bino with a win for Green's clean sweep. Her teammates Shaquilla Burke and Sheehan Cox in second and third. Here are the big boys now bragging rights at stake. One, two for blue. LaRon Hart and Rashad Shepard, sprint kings of blue. DeMarlington in third spot for Red House. Graydon Sealy on fleek at the National Stadium. Shane Jones, CBC Sports. Orange 3 Pinelands pipped the Lumber Company Lakers Sports Club by one point when the two sides met in the latest matchup of the Cooperators General Insurance BABA Premier League at the Willie Gym. The Lakers led for two quarters, but Pinelands took over in the second half to seal an exciting victory with the game seconds away from overtime. Here's Damien Best. Lakers Sports Club taking on Orange 3 Pinelands in black. First quarter action, the big man Charles Vantapool showing he's got range. Two-pointer there, then going coast to coast off the Lakers miss. Nobody interested in stopping him. Had a game high, 28 points. Lakers slow to get going, needing a spark. Mark Bridgman deep two, 12 points on the night. The Pine with the answer. Darion Hurley left open, bang three. But they trail by nine. Heading into the second. Second quarter now. The Lakers captain Keith Burkett from way downtown. Money. Burkett active. Leading the troops. Two on one fast break. And he lays it in. LSC up by only two at the break though. 30 to 28. Mainly because of this guy Vantapool. Shot 58% on the night. Made 10 of 17 from the field. Into the third we go then, Pylon start hot. 2020 vision from Hurley, nothing but net. One of four from beyond the arc. Then Vantapool putting that height to good use. A couple more. Only two players in double figures for the Pine. It appeared that it was more than enough. Lakers cough it up and Hurley with the Midas touch. 44 to 38 in favor of the boys in black. Fourth quarter now. Here comes LSC, Bridgman in traffic, bucket and one. And would complete the three point play as well. Lakers take the lead five minutes into the four, 51 to 49. Bridgman says, leave it to me. Not so fast, Hurley with the answer. Respect you, sugar. Back and forth between these two with time expiring. Locked at 59 apiece. Closing minute, Pylons with possession. Jeremy Gill working the shot clock. Draws to Vantapool with the left hand. Foul called by the ref. Free throws coming. Vantapool sinks the first. The second hard off the rim. Burkett with the Hail Mary. Way off. Pinelands hold on to win it. 60 to 59 over the Lakers. Thanks, Damien. Meanwhile, in the other Premier League game that night, Urban Vibe St. John Sonics beat the defending champions. Pan American International Insurance Warren 71-66. Tyrell Clark had a game high 28 for Sonics, while Andre Pierre had 24 Warrens. Well, that's it for sports. Lisa returns with a look at the business.